I don't even see my my job as work as much as I see it as an incredible opportunity to steward the next generation of public health leaders. Professor Michelle Williams, it is a joy. You're not only training the next public health leaders, but you're getting them ready to lead for that next pandemic. In the last six months, we've had a 177% increase in the applications to our master's in public health and epidemiology program to learn the skills to engage in helping to protect, promote, and preserve population health. Is it the pandemic alone, or is it because our young people are looking at the social and economic fallout as a call to civic duty? You know, James, I think your question is a really brilliant one, and I would say it's the latter. I think young people are seeing that public health represents that umbrella that embodies all of the disciplines that would support economic growth and resilience, as well as social equity. All of these things require attention to health and wellness as the front door for continued growth and sustainability. Where were you born and what were some of the formative experiences that led to your career in epidemiology and what you do today? I am an immigrant to the United States. I was born in Kingston, Jamaica. I am the oldest of three Jamaican-born children, and my baby brother was American-born. There are people in Jamaica listening to this and realizing that they've given America not one, but two Jamaican-American women who are shaping the fabric of the world. I want to add one thing. Um, I have family members who are Chinese. My paternal grandmother, her third husband was Chinese, and so I have Chinese cousins, Chinese Jamaican cousins, and I'm really proud of the multicultural um, family that we have. And it, you know, it's more common than it is unique, and I'm really proud of that. We're proud to have you as well. <laughs> Thank you. Now, let me just say this. I celebrated when I got the, the, um, the letter from, from Dean Margaret Chan telling me that she was going to become the inaugural dean of the Tsinghua Vanki School of Public Health. I loved this idea. Building a school of public health is a pivotal and important moment. So we celebrate um, having a sister school of public health at Tsinghua. You're helping to provide opportunities for students studying over there. What skills do they need in a shifting world of competing priorities? And are those any different in China as they would be in America? First and foremost, it comes down to the basics of listening, analytic thinking, and effective communicating. Are we listening to the communities we want to serve? Are we analyzing the information that we're getting, some of which we may not have expected when we went into a community to help them? And then are we communicating back to that community that we have heard them, that we understand the challenges that they face, and that we can explain why and how a co-developed set of solutions will address the problems? That said, there are around 100 schools of public health in mainland China today. Do we actually need another school? Does it add any value? So I'm gonna say the answer is there's not enough schools of public health. And here's why. I believe that what we should be doing is teaching the principles, practices, and approaches of public health all the way from kindergarten to throughout primary school. As I'm sitting listening to you, I'm so excited, but what excites Michelle Williams? I am a kid who never left school. So I will say what excites me every day is the opportunity to learn. Think about where we were 13 or 14 months ago in the middle of a pandemic. And we have these jabs, we have these tools, and it's based on a platform of mRNA that um, some people think it's only 12 months that we have these jabs created. But truth be told, it's 20 years of investment in research and development in basic science. 
this curiosity driven research can be leveraged in ways that will help us solve problems we never anticipate. And I sincerely hope that we continue to do this because we can't always anticipate what the next challenges will be. From the Well is a new series with global leaders brought to you by the China Current and Tsinghua Vanke School of Public Health.